Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to solve for the inverse of a matrix using the more general approach, the one that can be used for any n by n matrix. So here we have the matrix A, which has elements 2, 1, 5, and 3. In general, it has four elements, and to find the inverse of the matrix, what we do is we take the elements of the matrix and augment it with the identity matrix. And then using the Gaussian elimination method, we turn the left side of the matrix into the identity matrix so that the right side of the matrix then becomes the inverse of the matrix. And that's how that works. So let me show you how that works with this simple example. So here again, we're going to do a two by two example. In the next video, we'll try a three by three example using the same method. So we set up an augmented matrix, where on the left side we have the elements of the matrix A, and on the right side we put the elements of the identity matrix, a two by two identity matrix. And then using the method of Gaussian elimination, we are going to turn the left side into an identity matrix, and then the right side will then show us the inverse of the matrix. All right, step one, we want this to become A1, so that means I have to take the first row and divide it by two. So row one now becomes one half, row 1, which means that the new matrix will look as follows. So we have a 1, a 1 half, a 1 half, a 0, and the second row doesn't change. That's a 5, a 3, a 0, and a 1. The next step is I'm trying to turn this into a 0. So this is now a 1, and this needs to become a 0. I do that by taking the second row and replacing it by the negative of that number times the row with the 1 in it, which is our 1, and adding it to the second row. When I do that, I get the following matrix. Okay, notice that the first row will not change, so I end up with a 1, a 1 half, a 1 half, and a 0. And the second row then becomes as follows. So minus 5 times 1 is, is the minus 5 added to 5, I get 0. Minus 5 times a half is minus 2 and a half added to 3, that gives me a plus 1 half. Minus 5 times uh, 1 half, that gives me minus 5 halves added to 0, so minus 5 halves. And of course, five, negative 5 times 0 is still 0. Added to 1, I get a 1. All right. Next step, I want to turn this into a 1. I do that by multiplying the second row by 2. So I take the second row and replace it by twice the second row. So when I do that, I get the following matrix. The first row doesn't change. I get a 1, a 1 half, a 1 half, and 0. The second row becomes 0, 1, minus 5, and 2. The last step is to use this number right here to turn this into a 0. I can do that by taking the first row and replacing it by the negative of this number, which is minus 1 half, times the row with the 1 in it, which is the second row, and adding it to the first row. When I do that, I get the following matrix. Okay, which row doesn't change? The second row doesn't change, so I get a 0, a 1, a negative 5, and a 2. This remains a 1, so negative 1 half times a 1 is negative 1 half, added to 1 half, I get 0. Negative 1 half times a negative 5 is a positive 5 halves, added to 1 half, that gives me positive 6 halves, or a 3. A negative 1 half times a 2 is a negative 1, added to 0 gives me a negative 1. And here I have my identity matrix, which means, therefore, that a to the negative 1, which is identity, oh, no, I'm sorry, that's the inverse of the matrix, not the identity matrix. This is the identity matrix, this is the inverse of the matrix, so the inverse of the matrix is 3, negative 1, negative 5, and 2. And that, of course, should be the same result that we got in the previous video. To make sure we have the right result, let's multiply this times the original matrix to see if we get the identity matrix. That's always the show because we know that A times A inverse should equal the identity matrix. So when we take the matrix A, which is 2, 1, 5, and 3, and we multiply it times the identity matrix, at least the one we think is the identity matrix, is 3, negative 1, negative 5, and 2. And so when we multiply, let's see what we get. So I multiply this row times this column to get the first element. So 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times the negative 5 is negative 5. 6 plus the negative 5 is a 1. I multiply this row times this column. So I get 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. That gives me positive 2. Negative 2 plus positive 2 gives me a 0. Now I multiply this row times this column. 5 times 3 is 15. 
3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. And finally, I multiply this row times this column. So 5 times negative 5 is negative 5. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 5 plus 6 is a positive 1. And sure enough, that is the identity matrix. So therefore, this is the correct value for the uh, inverse of the matrix A. And so that is the, most, the more general method. No, notice that the Gaussian elimination method can be used for any size n by n matrix. It works really good. And so therefore, as we have a 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, this is the, obviously the best method to use. Now, on the 2 by 2 method, you can either use this method or the one that we showed you in the previous video. I like the one in the previous video because it's so quick. It's actually much quicker than this method right here. But this is a more general method. So take your pick. You have two options now to find the inverse of the 2 by 2 matrix.